Mike, if it. <laughs> Hi! Hi! We're gonna bring you guys along for our little excursion today. Sammy, what are we doing today? We're gonna go to Trader Joe's. Never been there. Yeah, this started because I had some friends talking about how great Trader Joe's was and I'd never been there. So we are gonna go do some Trader Joe's shopping. However, on the way, there's a DSW. When we're all done, we'll show you guys if we bought anything and if it's cool. And we have a couple guests. Honorary shenanigans here today. <laughs> That's Haley. Say hi, Haley. And this is Sue. Say hi, hi Sue. Um, they were our judges on our um, Lava Chocolate Cake. Lava I was going to say video. they might both look familiar because they were our guest judges, too. This is why I love DSW. There are so many options. We'll see if I find anything for me. These aren't at all the types of shoes I need, but these are super cute. I actually might come back to those. What do you think, Haley? Did you find me some shoes? Oh, are they not in my size? That's too bad. Ooh, that was snazzy. Let's see what this is all about. <laughs> are there sunflowers? Oh, this one has a pretty. This is very fall. Flowers. Beautiful. So these actually taste like turkey and stuffing. Sue tried them. I want to try one. Sue, what do you think of them? Two thumbs up. Two. So they taste like turkey and stuffing. I don't yeah, try it, it and tell me if they do. I'm scared. Thanksgiving on a pedal ship. What the heck? This is what started the conversation about Trader Joe's. Someone was eating a crumpet. What's a crumpet? And I said, where do you buy crumpets? And the answer? Trader Joe's. <laughs> Beet strawberry juice. I mean, who makes stuff like this? Oh, look at the fancy bottle, though. That pink lemonade. Pomegranates. I've never seen a pomegranate in a store. This is what a pomegranate looks like. You didn't know what it looks like? No. So it's just healthy stuff? Is that what the hype is? Oh, maybe we should try these. Let's try freeze-dried raspberries on our cereal. We're getting some Jozos. <laughs> There's just so much stuff. I don't know what to do. Whoa, you got lobster ravioli? Yeah, I did. Are you kidding me? Cool. Oh, tomato feta soup. That sounds good. Brussels sprouts? I never really, I've never, I never really you seen have it? how Brussels sprouts. You haven't? I've this never seen Brussels sprouts on a, on a stock. Me either. That's kind of cool. Ew, it looks like fingers. What's a persimmon? Subtly reminiscent of cinnamon. What are you gonna do with it? Eat, Eat it. it. Cinnamon permission. Persimmon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, is it soaked in? Feta. I love feta. Oh, it's like how I met your mother when he's like, "Do you want some gouda? Oh, pesto gouda. We are fancier than Marshall." We're gonna try roasted garlic chicken sausage. That is really thick bacon. I think that sounds good. I say let's try this. Spinach ricotta. We're gonna try some spinach ricotta ravioli. Whoa, let's get the, the salted caramel coconut cookie. What the heck are soft lady fingers? <laughs> Pesto and quinoa. What? Mom, let's get gourmet jelly beans. They're natural. No. Can you go breaded calamari? Yeah, let's get some calamari. Should we try it? Yeah. You need a like a, sauce? a garlic Let me see. aioli sauce or something. Oh, orange chicken. That looks like something I would like. Chicken and vegetable dumpling with tangy soy sauce packet. Maple leaf cookies. Why are we giving them to her mom? She's Canadian. <gasps> Taste test of caramel. <laughs> Yes, yes, please. Are you as overwhelmed as I am? A little bit. I guess let's do blueberry milk. What about pumpkin cream cheese spread? What about pumpkin rolls? Do you love pumpkin? I like pumpkin. You don't like pumpkin. I mean, it's okay. Liquid stevia. Cookie butter, okay. I don't know what on earth cookie butter is. Let's get back some dumb treats. Mom, Kansas City style barbecue. Oh, I feel like you need to get that. Oh, we're trying some Kansas City. Oh, that's the wrong one. Kansas City barbecue. We made it just barely in time. I feel like there's a lot of stuff in here for as small as it is. I feel like there's a lot of stuff in here for as small as it is. Sammy, what do you think? 
I think there's a lot of stuff in here for how small it is. Ooh, here's an island. I think Terry would like that. Countdown to Christmas. I love you. Is that really a bad thing? Hi, my name is Sammy Lynn. And I'm Tara Lynn. And we're the Shenanelins. <laughs> okay, so basically today we have I guess we kind of vlogged today. We did, so, so I don't know. <laughs> a little bit of a day in the life of the Shenanelands doing some shopping, which doesn't happen very often, It doesn't, honestly. it's not actually a day in the life. It's just a fun day in the life yeah. of the Shenanelands. We went to Trader Joe's for the first time, and so we decided to show you guys what we got. We'd never been there before, had no idea what to expect, and everyone talks about Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. On the way to Trader Joe's is DSW, so we stopped looking Ooh, for some shoes for me. Yeah. But of course, got oh, shoes for yeah. them. They are very cute. Aren't they like just so cute? Yeah, they're, they're super so cute. We showed you all of the beautiful flowers. These are the ones that we decided to get. So we are going to find a pretty vase and they'll actually be right here in the kitchen. My favorite way to decorate is with fresh flowers. Now we're gonna show you what we actually got, right mom? Yes. We got lobster ravioli. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about and this. It's like Yellow and red. Here's one thing I was surprised about. I've heard about Trader Joe's, but they're really reasonable in cost. Lobster ravioli was $3.99. We got this. Here's the different caramels. Hot chili, coconut, Himalayan salted, fig and honey, blood orange balsamic, butterscotch, toffee apple, stem ginger, vanilla maple, double espresso. Is it vanilla and maple? I feel maple like it's vanilla, or vanilla and maple. maple. Vanilla, maple, double espresso, and strawberry black pepper. So we're gonna do a video where we cut these in half. And oh, and it says, taste but them. which is which? Does that mean it doesn't tell you which Oh my gosh, I love it even more, we get to guess. And that was $5.99. Yes. We got sweet pull apart aloha rolls, because listen, we get the like Hawaiian buns, so we're like, maybe this will be like that, but better, so. And the Hawaiian buns are like $3.79 or something at the grocery store. These are $2.99. I'm excited to try these too. Give me a roll, mama. They're a little cheaper than Hawaiian rolls. I feel like they're doughier. Mm. I like that. Mm. They're so good. They taste very similar to just a Hawaiian mm. roll. <laughs> they're good. I like those a lot. I would buy those absolutely again. I would get a couple more and freeze them so I don't have to go back to Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. The Aloha Rolls, definitely thumbs up. We had never been to Trader Joe's, but we heard about stuff and one of them was the Speculoos, Speculoos cookies? Speculoos? I don't know. So what? someone told us we had to get them, so we did. What kind is it? These are crisp caramelized cinnamon spiced Belgian cookies. And they are $1.99. Cookies! They just look like ginger cookies. I like them. Yeah, I like them. These are good. Mm -hmm. I can see how you could eat a whole package of them. Sammy approved. <laughs> Sammy approved. Let's roll, let's roll. We got a lot of stuff to get through. Oh, we got more ravioli. Oh, spinach ricotta. I that know. That sounds right? really good. I didn't even know you grabbed this. All right, well, we got spinach ricotta ravioli, so there's another ravioli to add to the collection of ravioli we've got. And that was $3.49. So I guess I got this like argan oil and I literally like barely even know what argan oil is but like I've heard a lot about it in like the beauty department and it says a lightweight oil that moisturizes skin, hair, and nails naturally. So I assume it's good for your hair, skin, skin hair, and nails. nails. <laughs> so I guess I'll just put this on my skin, hair, and nails and see if it does good stuff for me, I don't know. And that was one of the more expensive items we bought, $6.99. Okay, I'm not sure oh, why I we got these. Out. These two go together. The Joe's O's. <laughs> I didn't know you got those. <laughs> I said, can I get Joe's O's? And you said, I don't care. So, and freeze-dried raspberries. Yeah, so I got Joe's O's and freeze-dried raspberries. So we're gonna put raspberries on the cereal? Yeah, and then you're supposed to eat like that. I'm actually gonna try one of these right now. Joe's O's was $1.99. Dried raspberries, $3.99. Let me try one. They're unsweetened, too. A very tart. Oh my gosh. You like them? Mm -mm. I think they're all right. I really don't mind them. I think they'll be good on the cereal. I might need to put a little sugar on that cereal. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Woo! Woo! So the grocery store at the place that we used to live, they had cotton candy milk. So I was hoping that maybe they would have cotton candy milk. She loves it. And they didn't. So I got blueberry milk, which obviously is not the same as cotton candy milk, 
but I'm interested to try it. But it's like some kind of yogurt milk, so it'll be interesting to see if she likes it. That was $2.99. It looks thicker than regular milk. It's not like milk. It smells. Oh my god, it smells. Do I have to try it? Yeah. <laughs> that is horrible. It's very sour. Is it meant to just drink? I could see it as a yogurt and putting it with something maybe. You keep drinking it. Like, wow. I don't think mean, it's that bad. I am not a fan. I will never be drinking that again. Ew, you got those? Yes. Okay, so I love cheese, any kind of cheese, and I definitely love mozzarella. So this is a marinated mozzarella cheese. I don't know what it's marinated in. Garlic oh. and olive oil and yummy yumminess. So I was all over this one. So I'm really excited to try this. I'm interested to try it. Too. Yeah, and this is $5.99. So it's kind of expensive, but mozzarella in general is expensive. I'm very excited about this. Oh, There's a lot of spices so nice under there. Let's mix it up a little. Shake it. Okay. Oh, oh, it looks. Oh, oh, it looks so nasty. <laughs> it's looking nasty. Oh my god. Like looking at it from the top, it's like a dirty hot tub. <laughs> a dirty hot tub. <laughs> See, that looks fine. Cheers. Clink. You put it all in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna commit to it all. Mmm, I like it. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me that I like it. I mean, it's marinated mozzarella cheese. It looks really, really nasty, but it's good. And it's big chunks of mozzarella cheese. How yeah, can you go no, wrong? It's really good. Another thing that people said to get from there are the chicken sausages, which I've never had a chicken sausage. This is roasted garlic chicken sausage. So don't really know how to cook it. Don't really know what it's going to taste like, but wanted to try it. This was $3.99, so totally worth trying it. Oh my gosh, you got so much stuff that I didn't even know you got. Bacon, you got bacon? Apple smokes bacon, I didn't even know we grabbed this. Like super thick cut. Wow. Yeah, so it looked good. Well, you, do you think we'll be able to get it really crispy though? Because we like it crispy. Oh, we can, I'm sure we can manage it. All right, cool. I like my bacon so it's almost burnt. It's gonna be good. That was $5.29. Next up, there is a Chinese restaurant and they had the best steamed dumplings. dumplings and I have not been able to find them here. So I saw this and these aren't steamed, these are fried, but it has the tangy soy sauce package so I feel like they're gonna kind of be the same taste. Super crazy excited to try these. I'm excited about this too, yeah. actually. Chicken shumai, 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 $2.99. That's good. If these, are, good. if these are really good, I'm gonna be super excited. Me too. And impressed. Yeah, I'm excited to try those. I passed this and I was like, ooh, orange chicken and she was like orange chicken so we all of course had to get some orange chicken the lady at the checkout said it was good so i've gotten this in like Trust normal in grocery stores not trader joe's and it's okay like i haven't found one that really at all um would compete with a normal chinese restaurant so we'll see 4.99 i'm really impressed with the prices okay, me too yeah Actually, i'm really Surprise. Sammy actually picked this out, made us get yeah, this. Yeah, I'm excited. She's obsessed with coconut, Do you like coconut lately. Like at I, all? I like Malibu rum. <laughs> it's coconut. I'm not a huge fan of I, coconut. I really like coconut. So we'll see. And salted caramel. Like I think these are gonna be really good. These are $349. Salt, caramel, coconut. Cheers. They're not as good as I thought they were gonna be. They're not even very good <laughs> at all. Uh, I like coconut. I'm not gonna eat it. Oh, they're good. Are they really good? They're kind of good. She ate the rest of mine. You may have these. You don't even have to share. I'll take them. Thumbs down from me. No, yeah, we're not gonna have again. Okay. This is what we've heard the most about from anyone that we talked to that we said we were going to Trader Joe's. They said, you have to get the cookie butter. Yeah, like I was like, what the heck is cookie butter? Like what? I still don't know what it is. Is it peanut butter with cookies in it? It looks like peanut butter. Spread on pancakes or waffles, peanut butter and cookie sandwiches. Does that have peanuts in it? I don't know, so we'll have to try it. I literally have no idea what's in it. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know what to expect. Like I have no idea. And they had a smooth one and they had a, a chunky one. Just yeah, like I assume butter the does. chunky one had like cookie chunks in it or something. But if I want to put it on like a sandwich, I don't want cookie chunks. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. try it. It was $3.69. That seems kind of expensive for a little jar or so. like Nutella. 
Like in comparison Nutella is crazy expensive. Yeah. If it's as good as or better than Nutella, I mean, nothing you, is as good you as look Nutella. Crazy I love Nutella. Nutella. How do they expect you to open anything from Trader Joe's? It smells very cooky. It's made with crushed biscuits. Oh, it's very thick in comparison to peanut butter. Oh, I thought you were just gonna tear it. Fight with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> it's good. It tastes like graham crackers. It is good. Like, I'd choose Nutella over this. You'd choose Nutella <laughs> over anything. It's good. Let's see how many calories it has. For real though, like, it literally just tastes like graham crackers. Serving size is one tablespoon. 90 calories. That's not good. <laughs> It's not really crazy bad either. It doesn't make a difference to me, honestly. Of course it doesn't. Next thing, we used to live in Kansas City. And in case you didn't know, Kansas City has amazing barbecue. Amazing. So they had some Kansas City style barbecue sauce, which we're definitely interested to try. I don't know that it will compare, but hopefully it'll be good. It's bold and smoky Kansas City style barbecue sauce. It was $1.99. Good. Yeah, good price. We have a friend from Canada. We saw maple leaf cookies and had to get them. So these Love we're going honey. to give to her. Yeah. So she'll probably let us try some. I mean, she's from Canada. Of course she'll share her cookies with us. Okay, she's nice. People from Canada are nice. Who in Canada if are we have, nice. If we have any viewers from Canada, leave us a note and tell us where in Canada you're from. Three forty nine. I'm gonna do two things at once because these are the only two things left in my bag. Weird, weird. I know, I don't know. So I got blood orange mints. So hopefully that's good. The mints are $1.49. Blood orange mint. Is it like a breath mint? Just a sugar free mints. It tastes orangey. It's alright. Okay. I'll eat this. It's fine. What is this? A uh, persimmon. Persimmon. This is a persimmon. I don't know what a persimmon is. And I don't is. really know what it is, but it also said something about it had like a hint of cinnamon taste or something like that. So we're gonna have to look up how to eat it. I like, don't know what a persimmon is. Do you slice it? Like, does it need do to be- Do you bite it? Do you need to put it in a recipe? Like, is it too powerful? I, do, I don't know. We're gonna have to look that we up. We literally don't know anything about what the heck this is. So you, why did you get that? Just cause of the cinnamon thing? Yeah, the cinnamon thing intrigued me. Persimmon. Kind of sounds like cinnamon. Persimmon. Persimmon cinnamon. Persimmon cinnamon. Persimmon cinnamon. Let's try these now. How do you put a hint of cinnamon in a fruit, honestly? Naturally, it has a hint of cinnamon. Does it smell Ooh. like cinnamon? I don't even know what it smells like. Does it doesn't smell appetizing? No, it doesn't smell appetizing. One, two, three. Oh, better than I thought. All right. Now, the most amazing thing I've ever tasted. I don't know that I taste cinnamon. This isn't bad. I don't think I like the skin. It's really hard. Wiki House said that you can eat the skin, so. Good, because <laughs> we just did. <laughs> if it were peeled. Oh God, you scare me. I'd probably like it better. I just want to try it without the skin. You can just bit it. No, I'm dainty. <laughs> You're not dainty. <laughs> you are not dainty. Um, I actually like that. Yeah, we're pretty good. I would eat that again. Beef jerky! Beef jerky! My husband loves beef jerky. I love beef jerky. And again, it was about the same price as I just love beef jerky, jerky too, actually. Yeah. It was the same price, so I just thought, why not? Let's test it out. Yeah. And the price on the beef jerky is $5.99. It's the mystery, mystery item. Is that the last thing? Oh, nope, there is one more thing. All right, this is Island Salsa, chunky salsa with mango, pineapple, and red jalapeno peppers. And we actually got this from my dad. I wanted to get peach, but she said no. It seemed too plain. I wanted something with a little more pizzazz. Pizzazz! Oh my gosh. That salsa is $2.99. We're just gonna do it right out of the jar. Oh, whew. I expected it to smell fruitier. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> I like it. Mmm. That's kind of spicy. It has red jalapeno peppers. Mm. Oh my. This is, yeah. Yeah, this is really good. I don't like jalapenos, but I like the spicy in it. I enjoy this. Mm-hmm. This was a big win too. So we got these apple raspberry dried fruit bar. So it's just a bar? It's just a, a fruit <laughs> bar. <laughs> apple raspberry dried fruit bar for yeah. 69 cents. How are you feeling about this fruit bar? I think it's gonna be disgusting. I think it's gonna taste like those things. 
The gym that they always used to. I never ate those. I mean, I know what you're talking about, but I mean, I'm, it'll probably be fine. What's your fruit bar? Huh. It reminds me of something from my childhood. Do you know that there's two of them in there? <laughs> Are you guys kidding me? <laughs> oh my the heck. It kind of reminds me of a fruit roll up. Mm, a little bit. You can obviously tell that it's like healthy though. Um, something from my childhood. What? What did I have in my childhood? I don't know why. It tasted like this. And that's it. So our total with tax came to $94.68. I don't think that's that bad. That was all of the stuff that we got from Trader Joe's today. We kind of took you along for the ride. So hopefully you enjoyed our video. Tell us if you want more vlog, shopping, just videos that are kind of random and relaxed. Personally, I thought it was pretty fun. <laughs> I liked this one because we hadn't been there before. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that you cool. guys actually probably knew more about Trader Joe's than we did. Well, For if sure. you knew anything about Trader <laughs> Joe's, you knew more than we did. That's actually so true. So the whole experience so, yeah. I think was was unexpected and fun. Like this video, comment anything that you think that we should try from Trader Joe's so that if we go there next time, we can make a new video getting new stuff that you guys recommend for us so we can try that stuff. Follow us on Instagram. Please just be our friend. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we really appreciate it. We've had a lot of new subscribers, so welcome to the channel. We appreciate you. Yay! And uh, we will see you soon. Bye.